Elfie Elfie Andrea. Andrea. What? I was asleep here. We've got some good news. We thought about this for a while, and we decided to get you something. What is it? Is it my own car? No. It's better. What is it? We got you a job. What job is it? Where am I going to work? Well, we're glad you asked. Me and your father found one place that will hire you. It's McDonald's. What? Hell no. You have to be kidding me. Of all the places, why McDonald's? Only people who can't afford a can of pop would work there. Because, it was the first place we could think of that is a good paying job. I don't care. I'm not working at McDonald's. Well, whether you like it or not, we already filled out the job application, so that's where you'll be working. Now, get in the car so we can drive you to McDonald's. Fine, whatever. Ugh. Angelina, sometimes with Althea, I can't stand her attitude. The feeling's mutual, Christopher. Now, we better go. Hello Althea's parents. Glad you came. And hello Althea and Rhea, welcome to your first day at McDonald's. How are you feeling? Terrible. I wish I could work somewhere else. I hate working here. Elthia, you better drop that tone and show some respect. We're sorry about our daughter. She was upset that we got her a job at a place she doesn't want to work at. Oh, that's okay. I had to deal with people like that before, so this is nothing new. Anyways, Althea, you will be taking orders from the customers at the counter. Can you manage that? I guess. Okay. You two can leave now while I take Althea Andrea to her workstation. Okay. Remember Althea, be nice to the customers. Because if you don't, you will be grounded. Understood? Yeah, yeah. I got it. Okay. See you later. Okay, Althea. Follow me inside, and I will show you work at. Alright, this is where you'll be working. Now, I'm sure you know the basics of the cashier job. Right? Yeah. I guess it shouldn't be too hard. Okay. Now I'll let you go, since I have to go on my lunch break. Good luck. Welcome to McDonald's. How may I help you? Me and Luigi would like a Big Mac, please. Here you to go. Ha 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 ha. Mamma mia. Luigi, I don't feel so good. Neither do Luigi. I think we're gonna be. Ha 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 ha. I uncooked the Big Macs. Hey. That was not funny at all. You just gave us some cooked food. That's it. We're going home. Come on Luigi. Yeah, Mario, let's go. Ha 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 ha. Oh my god. They actually fell for it. Welcome to McDonald's. How may I? Hey! What's this? Two kids. Where are your parents? They're coming. See? We came here with our parents. I was gonna say. Anyways, what would you like to order? We would like two happy meals for our kids, please. Okay, that will be ten pounds. Wait a minute. Happy Meals and cost £10, they cost £3.99. I'm actually dead ass. They cost £10. Hey! Our children are only 8 and 11 years old. They are too young to learn swear words. So don't swear in front of them. Oh chill the hell out. It's not a big deal, so lighten the fudge up. Didn't you hear what we just said? Stop swearing in front of our kids. If you got a problem with me swearing, then get the heck out of McDonald's. Scram. Come on, Simon and Belle, let's go to Burger King, and fast. We don't want you hearing language like that anymore. Man. I hate this job. I wish this day would end. Ahem. Uh -huh. Oh sorry JG the Animator 05. What would you like from McDonald's? 
I would like a double quarter pounder meal. Large fries, and a large Coke Zero, please. Okay, that will be seven pounds, please. Here you go. Thank you. Enjoy your meal. You're welcome. Well, here's a customer that I like. Hi, Karen. Hi, Althea. I didn't think you were working here. Neither did I, until my parents got me this job. Anyway, what would you like to order? I want a Big Mac, fries, Coke Zero and a McFlurry, please. And make sure you give it to me for free. Sure. Here you go. And yes, you can have it for free since we are friends. Really? Thanks, Althea. I appreciate it so much. You're welcome. Enjoy your meal. Welcome to McDonald's. How may I help you? The in Dom Studios would like 100 boxes of chicken nuggets. What? 100 boxes? Why do you two need that much? Well, me and Caden are planning to do a challenge. We are trying to see who can eat the most chicken nuggets. Oh. Well, why didn't you two say so? I'll go and get you some chicken nuggets now. Really? That's awesome. Thank you so much. Idiots. I was being sarcastic. I don't give a crap about your challenge. I'm not getting you to your nuggets, because you don't need that many. Yes, we do. We need 100 boxes of Enough. chicken. I told you I don't care, so shut the hell up and get out of here before I call the police. Oh, dignity. Welcome to McDonald's. How may I help you? I would like a Big Mac, please. Okay, then, I'll get it from the kitchen. I'll be back. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, something's not right here. Why does this burger taste weird? <laughs> what the? What's so funny? What did you do to this burger? Oh, nothing. Just... Oh my flipping god, what the hell is wrong with you? Why would you do something like that? Why? The joke was not funny in the slightest. You know what? I'm getting out of here and I'm going home. You've just ruined my appetite and my day. Oh my god. She actually fell for it. That prank worked perfectly. Man, Clear Slime really has accusers. Excuse me. Um, yes. How may I help you? I ran into a problem with the drinks machine. When I went to get a Pepsi Max for me and my friend, the machine wouldn't respond. Would you be able to take a look? Depends. Is it a problem? Well, yeah. Can you help me solve it? Maybe the machine is out of order. That can't be. When I got to the drinks machine, I saw someone successfully manage to fill the cup with Pepsi Max when I tried. It made a sputtering sound. So can you take a look? Like I said, the machine is out of order. If the machine was out of order, there would be a sign. And if there was no Pepsi Max in the machine, then the light would blink. But there was no sign and no light blinking. I think you're just telling me all this bullcrap because you don't want to help me. If so, stop it. That's not right. Well, congratulations. You get a gold star for figuring it out. Yeah, what's my prize? Your prize is a one way out of this place. If the machine won't let you have Pepsi Max, go to the shop and buy some. Don't waste my time by asking me to look at some dumb machine. Bruh, I just told you about this nicely, and now, you're being rude to me and telling me to leave? Not cool. Well for you maybe, leave now. No. I'm not leaving until you help with the drinks machine. Now help me. In fact, Darren, over here. Brainiac Adam, what happened? It shouldn't take that long to get refills. I know, but the machine isn't working. And when I told this employee, she just made up excuses since he was too lazy. 
She even told me to get out the restaurant. I see. In that case, you, why would you be rude to my friend Brainiac Adam? Because my job is to take orders for food, not sort out machines. My boss is on lunch break, and I don't feel like asking any of the other staff. So this proves you are lazy. Whatever. Get out of here, right now. No. Not until you fix this Get machine. Get out. Right now. If you want Pepsi Max, go to Tesco. Now get out. Go. Leave. Ugh, fine. Come on Adam, let's just go to Tesco. Yeah, maybe we can get Pepsi there. Ugh, I'm getting sick of these stupid customers. Why can't I be fired already? Oh, so you want to be fired, huh? Well, that's what's going to happen. I had several complaints from customers on my way back here about you being rude to them. You've been nice to two customers, but the rest you were being rude to. You even pulled a disgusting prank on a customer. I know this, because there are CCTV cameras on the walls. So, get out of this place while I call your parents. Go ahead. Call them. I don't give a crap. I don't have to work here anymore, and that's what matters to me. Now, I'm out of here. So long. Wow, I knew she hated having to work here, but I never knew she hated it that much. I can't believe she was also rude to my friends, Darren Stratton, and Brainiac Adam. Anyways, time to call Althea's parents. Hello? Who is this? Oh hello Willa Danner. How did Althea's first day at McDonald's go? She did what? Oh, she's gone again. Thanks for telling me. Take care, Wall Led. Bye. Hi, Mum and Dad. You sure look angry. No. We're filled with joy. Nice try. You can't pull that one on me. Exactly. You caught us all right. You were grounded for two months for getting fired at McDonald's. Now go upstairs to your room and stay there for the rest of the day. You know, I don't care about being grounded. All of this was worth it. Angelina, I'm telling you, sometimes Althea just never learns. Tell me about it. You'd thought she'd known better, as it was our firstborn child. I'm surprised her brother and sister are more mature than she is.